Hi, I'm Courtney Seymour. I'm the director of the Children's Ministry. And I'm Abby Stetzel, and I'm director of youth here at First Baptist Church, Merle's Inlet. Times are crazy. Now that we've got COVID, things are different. That's okay. We wanted to do an event in person on campus, but it just didn't pan out that way. So we decided to do a different Easter celebration, bringing families together. Yes, and we're so excited about this one. You may have noticed that this past week at church, in the hub and on the children's hall, we had little bags that had a treasure chest in it with some directions telling you how to do our treasure chest challenge. And we do hope that you as a family will participate with us and even you and other individuals from our church will find this beneficial this Easter season. So when you open up your treasure chest, the first challenge we're gonna to come to is the prayer challenge. Now, this is a really important challenge. Prayer is powerful, and many times we forget exactly how powerful it is. So we challenge you to take your family and go to a tourist attraction. It can be a parking lot of a school. It can be an amenity center parking lot, some place that you want to cover in prayer and intentionally pray for God to do the work that only He can do. Absolutely. The second challenge that we have is our scripture challenge. This is a challenge for you and your family to get into a passage of Luke together. One way that we've said that you can do this is through SOAP. There's going to be a video following this one explaining exactly how SOAP works and how you can do that even after this challenge on your own. And there's also a verse that you can study and that you can memorize together. And you'll hopefully remember that for Easter's to come as well. All right. And the third and final challenge is the fun creative challenge. Now, you can't go wrong with any challenge that you do with this. So you can make a shadow box, you can bake a cake, you can bake cookies, anything that you want to do with your family to help celebrate the fact that Christ is risen. Yes, I'm so excited about that one. I know you're going to get creative and we're excited to see what you do. Um, to submit these, you're probably like, what are we supposed to do once we do these challenges, everybody? So what we're asking you to do is at the end of each challenge, take a picture of what you've done. So take a picture of your family praying wherever you decided to go. Take a picture of your family in God's word. Take a short video of y'all memorizing your verse. And then take one more picture of your celebration challenge. The way that you'll share those with us is that on the direction sheet, you'll see this thing called a QR code. And all you'll do is open up your camera app. You'll hover over the image and a link will pop up. You'll click that link and it'll take you to a page where you can easily submit all your photos and videos. Once we have those, your name is going to go into a hat and we're gonna draw one for a grand prize. And so what you're gonna do, 10 o'clock Monday morning, make sure you have all of your challenges submitted and then we will, like Addie said, draw your name out for that grand prize. But don't worry, we have three additional prizes so we'll have more than one winner. Yes, and we're so excited about it. We do hope that you'll choose to celebrate Easter with us in this way, making memories that you can even look back on years from now. Don't worry if you didn't pick up a bag from us this past Sunday. We still have several available in the church office, so feel free to swing by any time this week and grab one. Um, we love you guys so much, and we're so thankful for you, and we hope you have a happy Easter. Happy Easter.